The ways are the first part of the lathe that you will need to fabricate yourself. The ways are what the fire carriage and the tailstock run along. I strongly recommend you use a drill press for this. If you don't have one, um, you're going to want to get access to one somewhere. Uh, people are often open to trading for time or, um, you know, sometimes if you have friends that will help out, uh, it won't cost you anything. You're going to need a couple drill bits, um, some way to measure your cuts, a uh, marking pen or a scribe, and a countersink to uh, clean up the holes when you're done. If you have experience with metal, you can do this any way you like. Um, I'm going to be showing some of the additional tools uh, that I use. I like to use layout fluid uh, on some of the parts as well as a carbide scribe. Uh, combine that with a dial caliper and some machinist parallels. Um, you get to do some really accurate work. I also center punch all my holes before I drill them. Um, kind of helps keep things straight and prevents the drill bits from locking. And here's just a quick look at some of those tools that I have laid out on the table here. We'll be using four inch by quarter inch cold rolled steel for the ways. If you can't find it locally, Online Metals is a good place to get it. And you're going to want to cut your piece down to 42 inches. So four inch by 42 inches by quarter inch thick. After you make your cut, you're going to want to clean up the ends. If you've ordered it cut to length or had somebody do it for you, um, still a good idea to check and uh, just clean that up with a file or a sander or uh, you know, anything else that's going to work for that. Chances are this metal is going to be pretty dirty when you get it, uh, either from the mill or whoever. Uh, so it's always a good idea to just kind of, after I cut it, I'll just go ahead and wipe it all down. Um, first with a dry cloth to get the heavy grease off, and then uh, I'll get some acetone and um, kind of do a, a finish clean. Once everything's clean, we'll start laying out our holes. Uh, I start in the center at 21 inches and make my first mark, and then work my way out, making a mark every four inches. So I'll do that in one direction, and then come back and do that in the other direction. And we end up with a nice even hole pattern um, with our holes inset one inch from, uh, from either end. And it looks really nice. After I get my marks laid out with my measuring tape, I'll take a square and just draw a line across the, across the ways. After that's done, we can make our second mark. I'm using machinist parallels. They are um, precision ground to one and a quarter inches, and I just line them up like that and take my scribe and scribe a line there. Uh, it's a really fast way to lay out these holes, but uh, you, know, you can use a measuring tape too, or uh, a dial caliper works just fine. Um, I happen to have these around my shop, so it was an easy thing to do. Um, I also like using the scribe because you get a very, very fine line. Uh, you, know, you can use a fine Sharpie or even the very fine point Sharpies, um, but uh, even, even those have a, a curve to them, and the scribe just kind of uh, is, is even smaller than that. So, see I'm making pretty quick work of this. Uh, but it's it's by no means the only way to go about doing this. Once everything's laid out, it's time to center punch the holes. I like to use ear protection for this. Uh, it can be kind of loud. So just line up on your scribe mark and uh, go around and punch all of those holes. In the next video, we'll drill our holes and mount the ways onto the frame.